Hi everyone, this is Carolyn, and today is Good Friday, so we are going into the Easter weekend, and I thought it would be fun to draw a basket, and this is one that I just drew, and we're going to make it look like this weave of a, of a regular basket, so I know it looks hard, but when you break it down, it makes a really fun pattern, so I'm going to put this aside, and grab your paper and grab your pencil, and I'm going to draw with a pencil at first because I want to draw guidelines first. So if you're all ready, we're going to draw our basket. So we're going to do a line here, and then we're going to do a round bottom, and then we're going to do a line up like that, okay? And then we're going to do a line on the top that matches the curve of the bottom. Match it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. There you go. Okay. And then, actually, I want a rim for my basket, so I'm going to do a little higher. And then I'm going to do the same curve. Okay. And then... Um, we are going to make it look like it's a oval, that it goes around like this. But we're not going to draw that oval because we're going to fill our basket. So, but if you can see, it looks like it's going to come around and that we'd be able to see inside. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw some guidelines. We're going to, and you notice how all my lines are curved. The same curve at the, as the bottom line. That's just because it makes it look round. If we did it straight across, then, like if we did a line straight across here, then you would totally flatten your basket, and we don't want to do that. We want to make it look round. Okay, so we have those lines. I put four lines, but you can put as many lines as you want. And then we're going to make lines that go down. So we're making just a crossboard, kind of like a checkerboard. Like this. So those are our guidelines. I'm drawing them kind of dark, but I want you to draw them kind of lighter, because these are not the lines that we'll be using. Okay. So I'm going to switch to my pen now, so then maybe you can see it more. So on every other line, we're going to draw every other box. So we're going to draw two lines just a little inside of our square. Every other one. Okay. And then if it ends, if it starts at the end, then you want to Put your line right at the end there. Every other one, so we're going to do this, and then all the way across. And like I said, if it ends at the end, then we want to put it right there. Okay, and then we're going to come back here. We're doing every other box. And then every line we start, as you can see, every other one. So here we go. all the way across. So you might want to do these a little darker or maybe in a different color so you can tell the difference between them and your guidelines. So we're going all the way across. See how that was working? Okay, so that looks kind of silly now, doesn't it? So now this is the trick. This is where all the magic happens. So you come up to this first corner, or this first corner box, and you do two lines going the other way. Do you notice that? They're going the other way. Now we do want to just close that off. And then we come to this one, and we do two lines going the other way. Do you notice that? And I'm doing them curved. Just a little curve because it makes it look like it's this one's going under. It's kind of hard to see now, but keep going. 
hard to see how cool your artwork looks in the middle of it. So over here, I added this line because it's the end. Then we're going to come over here, and on the second layer, in that box that we hadn't put anything in yet, we're going to do lines that go this way. Curved. I know this is a little tricky, but this is kind of a fun design. And curved, and then with, it's kind of called an optical illusion, all of a sudden your eyes can see the curve and it's making the basket. Do you see how that's doing that? Um, here we go. At the end, we want to make this line to end it. And then we do three more sides, or two more rows. Don't forget to curve your line. Okay, and then we have this bottom corner. We're still going to curve our line. Curve our line. Two lines. This is pretty intense drawing, but it turns out really cool. And then at the bottom, we're just going to make these lines close too. So do you see your pattern? It's very fun. So we're going to come up here and we're going to, this is going to be our our little top of our basket. Okay. Now we want some uh, basket handle, don't we? So we're going to take our pen, our pencil, and we're going to go all the way around and then come over here, okay? And then we're going to go right next to that and make a really thin line all the way across, okay? And then this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to go up. We're going to meet at the top, and then we're going to switch to the bottom, and then we're going to go around the bottom. Did you see how that worked? And that makes it look like you see the top and the bottom, like it's almost 3D. I love this kind of drawing. So here's your basket, and once you get your other lines drawn, you can take your eraser and erase all of your guidelines. Now, if you're drawing pencil on pencil, it's kind of hard to do this, so just be real careful with that. And if you don't want to erase your guidelines, you don't have to. But when you do, you see this fun little pattern that we have, and it's a basket pattern. Now, on the top here, I did forget to put this line. You want to put another little line here, because that all automatically adds a little depth to your board up here, to your little border. So you want to do that, and you want to do that. So do you remember before we did in an earlier tutorial, I taught you how to do eggs. If you didn't see that, what the easiest thing to do is to cut out a pattern for eggs. And once you have it cut out, then you can put it down here, and you can fill your basket with eggs. It's just easier to do um, a little um, oh, first to cut one out because then you can just do it real fast. And then you can color these eggs and design these eggs and you can make a beautiful card for your relatives for your friends. Now if you don't want to put eggs in your basket, you can put anything in your basket. You could do a basket full of flowers, which would be really fun. There we go. We'll put one over here. So you can design your, your eggs any way that you'd like. When you're doing your lines on your eggs, you also want to curve them because your eggs are round, just like we did here. And then if you want to do polka dots. 
So this is our Easter basket. And I hope I explained that well. And I hope you have fun with it. And I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I'll be back tomorrow to draw something else with Easter. But, um, but I hope you enjoy your eggs in your basket. So have a wonderful day and enjoy drawing.